I began to notice problems. I actually had a sighting where you physically yes. saw a spacecraft. Yes. It was not a figment of your imagination. They all saw it, so if it was a figment, it was a mass figment. And it was very close, broad daylight, physical sightings, good, long, solid sightings. And what I didn't understand then and what I understand now is that sighting was Bashar's way of sort of tapping my subconscious memory to fulfill an agreement that I had made to do the channeling as I have now discovered. So Most of the time he was fine, but every so often under stress I would come delusional behavior. Truly stated in your world that the only thing that you do in fact have to fear is the fear itself because there is nothing, nothing, no thing inherent about any circumstance or situation that needs to create a negative result. End of the day, we talked to him again when he was more tired, and he began to manifest symptoms of psychosis. But the experiences you have in life, they do not create the belief to begin with. The belief within you creates the experience, which may then reinforce the belief and then recreate the experience and catch you up in that cycle that you call your catch 22. Where he talked about looking for messages to him in the papers that he was that the FBI was following him. So simply it takes an understanding that if belief creates the experience once you change the belief you will change the experience and we guarantee 100 percent that is the effect that will occur. You can do it for yourself and create the proof you need for yourself to see that it will occur. And I realized he was heading for a psychotic break. Now this is a very simple idea and a very simple answer. For recognize what excites you with integrity the most in life itself. It can happen to anyone and it's not a scandalous thing. It can be dealt with. your catch 22.